I was so excited about this city because I felt, you know, wow, there's really something different going on here because I'd been living in D.C., in Washington, D.C., and you really can't get away with much there. You know, it doesn't matter who you are or how great it is what you're painting. If you haven't got permission, um, you can't do it. And so coming down here for me and seeing so much art in the street, so much expression in the public space was something really new for me, and I thought that was just really exhilarating. Honestly, I was inspired to pursue my own art, and I ended up going back to school to study music, and I'm playing uh, music in an orchestra of indigenous instruments, from wind instruments like uh, huge conch shells and flutes, and uh, sometimes tree branches, and clay instruments, sometimes percussion, lots of different instruments. So this was the very first instrument that I made and you know there's a lot of fiddling around to get the mouthpiece right and everything and, and the first time that it made sound I could hear it getting closer and closer and I was like adjusting it adjusting it and the first time it actually made that clear sound was amazing. It was yeah it was as if the music came alive um, from this amazing little gacho, this little um, rooster and I actually saw the same thing with my father. I brought um, a kalimba which is like a a little femme piano with like the metal metal keys and uh, he's a woodworker so we built that together and I saw the same look of like childlike glee on his face the first time he played it wasn't tuned or, or anything um, but he started playing and it was like it's just a, I mean it's alive it just built this thing and it's a musical instrument all of a sudden you know sort of rediscovering the more common and more sacred roots of music that music used to be a part of everyday life you know it wasn't just certain people who got to make music in certain places where certain people would go to watch them it was like everybody made music everybody was an artisan every single instrument is unique every single one is a work of art so there's an incredible level of creativity learning to express myself a little bit more here and finding my own ways of expressing myself I think has helped me to feel more free and everybody has their creative outlet or they should and so many people when I ask them if they'd ever painted or what their creative outlet was so many people would say almost the same thing like I don't have a creative bone in my body and it's like that's not true you know and it doesn't have to be painting a picture but like everybody has something creative to offer and I think it's really important that everybody discover what that is.